more and more celebrities are refusing to hold back about their true feelings of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. And man, this is just getting embarrassing. Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor, and so many of you guys have been sending me these clips, particularly this Kelly Osbourne clip, but I found a few more that have already dropped over the past couple days. We have Kelly Osbourne with Bethany Franklin, and we have ESPN Stephen A. Smith. What is up with all these sportscasters leaving their area of sports to take the time to bash the Duchess and the Prince Harry? It, it just shows you how many people are just fed up with this. And man, Kelly Osborne unleashes lashing out on the whining, whinging, complaining, woe is me, Prince Harry in an expletive laden rant. Now I had to get to the, we have the, sadly the bleeped version here, but I, I will help if you can't figure out what she's saying, I'll help you. But here it is uh, from a podcast appearance she did. They were sort of talking about uh, the King Charles and, and then one of the podcast hosts was like, well, I feel bad for that they put Prince Harry in that seat and didn't put it closer. And Kelly jumped on them immediately to correct them saying, no way, not Prince Harry. I don't feel sorry for him at all. Here's what she said. He's a <laughs> effing T-W-A. Am I allowed to say the last T? Uh, is that bad in uh, here in England? I don't know. Effing, yes, T word. I think <laughs> Harry's a I do. I think he's a he's a whining, whinging, complaining, woe is me. I'm the only one that's ever had mental problems. It's true. It's true. It's I I a hundred percent. I felt for him a little bit. I fell for it. I did, but I'm just like enough is enough. Everything's a problem with him. But she continued. He's a whining, whinging, complaining, woe is me. I'm the only one that's ever had mental problems. My life was so hard. Everybody's life is hard. Yeah, you were the prince of a god true. country who dressed up as a Nazi, and now you're trying to come back as the Pope? Suck it. <laughs> I mean, she's not wrong. <laughs> and yeah, referencing that infamous Halloween costume. Uh, suck it. Nazi. And now you're trying to come back as the Pope? Suck it. Look, Kelly said some done things in her, her past too. Let's let's not let's keep it a buck. But uh, she's absolutely spot on this time. Uh, a lot of you've been saying that. I just wanted to share it. And then yeah, uh, Bethany Frankel is someone who has been very vocal of them in the past, and now it's apparently cool to uh, bash them. So now she's. So I guess now it's cool to refer to Meghan and Harry as grifters. And Bill Simmons, one of the heads of Spotify, referred to. Harry as Fredo, something I said last year. And two years ago, I was on the brink of cancellation for saying cry me a river, something that is very popular to say right now about Meghan and Harry. My advice to them since they are being advised by Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck is lean into the fact that you're thought of as jokers. Go on Saturday Night Live and make the joke be about you. Be part of yes. that. And then go on social media, whore it out, and turn the page and start a new chapter where you get that you guys fucked up you thought you could play the media and lean in and turn a corner i mean do you guys even think that could work i don't know it's, it's tough at this point it just feels like harry and megan are not playing chess if, or they're playing it terribly it's like they're feeding off of each other's bad ideas and i just think that they're not wise in how they're going about it they aren't it's true. She's she's not wrong. At least she's trying to offer some criticism, which you know Megan's never going to want to hear. Uh, but do you think that's true? If they, I, mean, I think it's good advice. They should totally lean into it. It's like when the South Park thing happened, which if you missed yesterday or this morning's video, I'll put it up here. Or I'll, I'll, let's put it at the end of the video so that way you guys have it there. I'll put it at the end of the video. Um, it, it's just when that happened, they were out there putting press quotes. Their team was putting out quotes to make you know how angry they were own it yeah that was really funny we're honored south park makes fun of the best and then you move, roll with the punches but no it really does feel like they enjoy this of like being called out and then making sure they do things to get called out more so now you have espn's sports center Stephen a smith coming out of the woodwork because bill simmons did uh and i have a couple clips here and then i'll read the rest because he's a little he's very slow and how the way he goes about it but this is from his most recent show 
will find, you will be hard pressed to find anyone on the planet Earth that cares less about the royal family than me. I don't give a damn about the royal family. I, well, I don't mean anything like negative, like, oh, my goodness, I want something to happen to them or nothing like that. I just don't care. <laughs> Princess Diana seemed like a very, very nice lady. Very, very sorry that she passed away in the car. He's plays. He, look, but he's, he shares my opinions. Who who really cares? But then he goes in and chimes in on what Bill Simmons said. <laughs> Save that idea. <laughs> It'll be really Fucking easy. The grifters. Here's my... Ladies and gentlemen, I pride myself on having a relatively extensive vocabulary. I never knew what the hell grifters meant. So <laughs> really? And there it is. A grifter is a con artist. Someone who swindles people out of their money through fraud. That is what Bill Simmons called Prince Harry and the Duchess of Sussex. <laughs> the the, the In all seriousness, he's qualified to say that. I am not, because I know nothing of them. I know nothing about their deal. I'm appalled that my daughter can tell me more about it, because I'm like, why are you watching that? For what? What purpose does that serve? And then ain't I wrong. realized... You're the comments although i wouldn't call them any names and i certainly wouldn't Megan's be derogatory or incendiary towards them on a on a personal level i thought bill simmons was a bit excessive with that i didn't think She's that a little was sus. necessary but then again he works at spotify not me so he knows more than i would ever know about that particular situation which means it came from a personal place having said all of that i will acknowledge that he did crystallize what he meant when he said what he said listen to this quote Talking about Prince Harry, what does he do? It's one of those things where it's like, what's your talent? Why are we listening to you? So you were born in a royal family and then you left. You live in fucking Montecito. <laughs> and you're just like, you sell documentaries and podcasts. And nobody cares what you have to say about anything unless you're talking about the royal family. And you just complain about them. Ladies and gentlemen... That part is true. <laughs> it's got to a point where if Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, I'm sorry, the Duchess of Sussex, if Prince Harry and the Duchess of Sussex ain't complaining about the royal family, I don't know if anybody cares what, what they have to say. They don't. They absolutely don't. Uh, Stephen put it out there. Nobody cares about Prince Harry and Meghan Markle unless they're insulting their family. That was the big part. So while he was trying to play it cool, like he's still publicizing these comments. This is a nightmare for Meghan and Harry. This is terrible press. And it's starting to dwindle where it is. It's like people don't care. There's a lot. I don't care. A lot of people, but I'm, I'm, I'm invested now because I know some of you guys saw so many of you guys are. And yeah, I'm frustrated myself. Uh, but man, they really got to do something. I, I, I know a lot of you are saying there's nothing they can do, but they got to do something. There are some moves they could do. They could try to be so, less holier than thou. They could embrace the jokes. They could take the criticism. But uh, yeah, I mean, you got these are royals who must live as royals who just want privacy. It is maddening. But to see all these celebrities coming out, uh, this is the tip of the iceberg. It can't feel good to be them right now. Now, I think they're going to be quiet for a little bit. That's what I think. Who knows? I've been wrong on this a lot. You guys definitely know more. What are your predictions? How will they react to all this? Do you think they'll slow down? Hit that subscribe and that bell so you get alerts when more Harry and Meghan news happens. Smash the like button if you agree. Heck, smash it down if you don't. All engagement counts. And leave a comment. What do you think? Who? Which comment was your favorite? Uh, who do you think was most spot on? And uh, what do you think is going to happen with them next? we got more to report on. You're not going to miss it, so stay tuned. Thank you guys so much for watching here on Popcorn Planet.